Hey guys, welcome to the video. Hope you're doing good. So today I'll be solving question number one five zero three on lead code. That says last moment before all ants fall out of blank. It's a medium problem, but <laughs> trust me, guys. Once you'll see the code, you you won't believe your eyes. You won't believe it. I'm telling you guys. The solution to it is very simple. The only thing is the logic behind it. If you get the logic, the code is nothing. Literally nothing. Just two lines of code, and that's it. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so you can read the question by yourself. I'll explain you what the question says. Okay, the question says that we are given a blank of n length. Okay, so zero, one, two, three, four, as it's shown here in the example. Okay, so now what the question says that that we are given basically three arrays. One array gives us the length of the blank. One array tells us the number of ants moving leftwards, and one array gives the number of ants moving rightwards. That array gives the number as well as the indices of the ants moving left and right respectively. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to determine the time that will be taken by the last ant to fall off the blank. These ants are moving leftward and rightward respectively. and whenever they collide they reverse their direction for example the ant c here is moving towards the left direction and ant b is moving towards the right direction after 1 second when they collide ant b reverses its direction and starts moving towards the left and ant c moves towards the right okay we have to simply find out the time taken by the last ant to fall off the blank eventually these ants will move and they will fall off the blank so we have to find out the time the tth second when all the ants will fall off when the last ant falls off so the approach here is very simple if i assume that there are two ants numbered 1 and 2 they are number 1 is moving towards the right hand side and 2 is moving towards the left hand side <clears throat> okay the question says that they have to reverse the directions on colliding so the according to question according to question when they are colliding they should reverse the directions now one should move along the left direction and number 2 should go back towards the right hand side okay but for an instance if i ignore this if i ignore this and i say that let them continue on their own path as they were okay let them continue on their own path as they were moving initially so one comes here moving towards the right side and two comes here moving towards the left side okay on comparing these two now now when i compare these both cases is there any difference can you see any difference here guys the only difference here is the number of these ants here number 1 is moving towards the left side here it's going towards the right side but other than that there is no difference so and in the question they have never mentioned that i have to return the number or you know the name of the ant falling last they have only said that I return the time return the second at which the last ant falls off the plank so why am i concerned with this i have no i have no concern with this therefore i will ignore this and move along with this approach okay now coming to the other part of the explanation let's assume that this is a blank of seven places of seven slots and there is an ant moving towards the right hand side on zeroth index what time will it take to fall off isn't it obvious it will take 6 seconds 
it's pretty clear if an ant is here what time will it take to fall off one second pretty clear okay the sun will take six seconds one two three four five and six okay now if the ant is moving towards the left hand side what time will it take again 6 seconds if an ant is here what time will it take 1 second okay so now that this is clear to you now we have to observe some pattern here if an ant is moving towards the left hand side if an ant is moving towards the left hand side what time will this ant take to fall off first tell me 5 seconds okay if an ant is here what time will it take 6 seconds if an ant is here what time will it take 1 second so are you observing the pattern are you observing the pattern the ant here took 5 seconds to fall off is it it equal to the index the ant here took 6 seconds to fall off isn't that also equal to the index ant here took just one second to fall off isn't that also equal to the index right so if the ant is moving towards the left side then the last ant or the time taken by the last ant or the time taken by the last ant will be equal to the maximum index in the left array the maximum index in the array left as in the ants moving towards the left side among them whichever has the maximum index will be the last ant to fall off now if an ant is moving towards the right side okay let's say if the ant is here what time does it take to fall off 5 seconds 1 2 3 4 5 it takes 5 seconds to fall off if an ant is here what time does it take it takes 1 second to fall off if an ant is here what time does it take it takes 6 seconds to fall off so now here can you observe the pattern come on it's very easy now now you need to understand the pattern guys it's very easy here the pattern is if the ant is moving towards the right hand side then the time taken by it to fall off will be equal to the last index subtracting the current index as in the right of i that will be the time taken by this ant to fall off isn't it 6 minus 1 5 6 minus 5 1 6 minus 0 6 i assume that you might you must have been able to solve this particular code but even if you faced a certain problem that's not an issue it's okay i am here to help you with that only so let's get into it and let's code it okay so first of all i'll declare a variable answer to return my answer basically to store my answer that will be and i have to return okay so for leftward moving ants for the left array for int i equal to zero for i less than left dot length it's a simple for loop going to the le length of the left array i plus plus answer is equal to math dot max answer and the left of i isn't it you got what i did here you understood it right i declared a variable answer initialized to zero and then i you know put a for loop for the left array for this array for the leftward moving ants and as i explained earlier the answer for leftward moving ants was the index number itself so 
we have to find the maximum number we have to find the maximum time taken by the last and to follow off therefore i have used math.max between answer and left.i now for the rightward moving hands for int i equal to 0 again a simple for loop right dot length answer is equal to math dot max again uh, as i have to find out for the last and the maximum time <coughs> therefore i'm using math dot max this time it's going to be between it's going to be between n minus right of i because as i explained earlier also for rightward moving ants the answer is going to be the last the length minus the current index if you didn't understand please go and watch the video again it's very simple you'll get it then simply return the answer let's test it okay let's submit accepted faster than 100 percent of java solutions memory usage less than 100 percent so it's a pretty good solution see it was a medium level problem it was a medium level problem but required only two lines of code and these lines are not basically some top level you know you you have to you know work very hard to figure these lines out it's a simple for loop it's a simple for loop guys simple for loop the only brain the only logic that had to be applied was in this line was in this line only the logic fetched you the answer in this question only the logic okay guys that's it for this video keep coding keep supporting and i'll link my socials in the description please feel free to follow me and connect with me and thanks guys take care <music>